In the mid-1950s, Miro settled in Palma. The architect, Josep Luis Sert, a friend of his, designed a spacious studio for him. And in this way, Miro fulfilled his dream of having a large studio. The building combines the linearity and solidity of the walls with the waves of the roof. It blends in with the landscape perfectly. He now had plenty of space, and this enabled him to review many works which had been packed up in Paris during the war. As well as canvases begun in the 1920s and 30s, there were drawings, designs and books of sketches. Later on, Miro bought Son Botaire, a 17th century Mallorcan house located very close to his studio. The space and whiteness of the studio contrasted with the austerity and shadow of Son Botaire. The walls of the house became an improvised medium for charcoal drawings. Miro began to collect all kinds of objects there. He picked them up as he walked along the paths, to the shops or to the beach. With them, he gave life to his sculptures. For five years, Miro put painting aside and devoted himself to engraving, lithography and ceramics. When he finally went back to painting, gesture and expressive energy had relegated his signs to the background. 